So, we're finally at Kanoe's home base, huh? Man, too bad we had to come here for Phantom Thief Biz. We could have stuffed ourselves stupid. Well, Sophia, is there a jail nearby? There is. I can smell it. Guess that settles it then. Now, if Ichinose-san could just find that business card. This is it, you guys. Do or die. We're gonna take that asshole Kanoe down and settle this once and for all. Oh, look who decided to step their game up. Think maybe his new persona ability is going to his head? Uh, if this were a movie, you'd probably be taken out within the next 30 minutes. What? Give me a friggin' break. I'm just saying we should be ready, all right? Luckily, we won't have to worry about getting caught by the police. Still, we'll want to be good and ready for what's ahead. Well, Osaka is Japan's kitchen. I can't imagine a better place to provide us with a pre-battle meal. And there's plenty else here for us, too. By the way, is Akane-chan okay? Yeah, she was up in Adam this morning. She's with her grandparents right now. I really owe you guys. Thanks. I don't know why, but it's weird hearing you thank us like that, Gramps. <laughs> well, it's not like he made the best first impression. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't trust the police and all that. Getting back to business, though. Do you guys have a plan to get Konoe's keyword? Yep. Ichinose's looking into it. Ichinose? Oh, right. The woman who designed Emma. Ichinose is calling. I'll put it on speaker. Hey, speak of the devil. Good morning, Phantom Thieves! How's everyone been? Ha, ah, upbeat as usual, I see. Did you have any luck getting the keyword? <laughs> Did you forget who you're talking to? Of course I found it. No problem whatsoever. Oh, hell yeah! Now then, without further ado, Akira Kanoe's keyword is... Zephyrman! Zephyr... what now? Zephyrman... Is that what I think it is? You've heard of it, Futaba? It's an old live-action superhero series. You know, the kind where they transform and fight evil and stuff. It's got somewhat of a cult following, but for the most part, it's pretty small-time. Kanoe must be a big superhero buff. So it's a superhero TV show. Why would he have something like that as his keyword? Well, whatever his reason, we can enter the jail now. Thank you for your help, Ichinose-san. Nonsense. It was easy. Besides, hearing you guys go about your business truly brightens my day. I guess I am pretty amazing, but it's kind of embarrassing when someone else points it out. Anyhow, the real fight is only just beginning, right? Make sure you don't get yourselves killed out there! Alrighty. I can't wait to hear all the juicy details when you get back. Adios, Phantom Thieves! Okay, next stop, Kanoe's Jail. If things go according to plan, this will be the last one. Right. Changing Kanoe's heart should bring an end to the change of heart epidemic. Man, this is turning out to be one hell of a summer vacation. I'll say. We ended up traveling nearly the whole country. We're not done just yet. Not until we knock Kanoe off his perch and make it safely back to Tokyo. You know what they say, it ain't over till it's over. Hey, uh, are you sure it's okay for you to be hanging around us, Senkichi? You're not gonna get fired or anything? Come on, you're not gonna make me sit out for the finale, are you? That bastard Kanoe's gonna get what's coming to him. Plus, it's time you kids cleared your names. And let's not forget Owada. I'm bringing him in, too. Indeed. We cannot return to our own lives until we expose his misdeeds. All right, what do you say we get going? Can you find us the best entry point, Sophia? Okay, leave it to me. This is our entry point this time. If his keyword is indeed the name of a superhero, one can only wonder what his jail will look like. Ain't gonna be pretty, that's for sure. We're going in. Is everyone ready? 
Yes, let's go. We're gonna settle this thing once and for all. This is for everyone, even those who got turned into monarchs. Kanoe's gonna pay big time for toying with people's hearts like that. Beginning the operation. Entering the keyword into Emma now. The keyword is... Zipperman. it'd be another crazy one. See that? I'd say you just found Kanoe's castle. We're almost there. Only one job left to you. Bring the villain to justice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. went well at least stay sharp everybody this could potentially be the mastermind behind everything that we've faced thus far security's bound to be tight great we should expect that kanoe knows how jails work too i assume that's kanoe's castle if so we have our destination time to get moving show me how it's done let's go What is it, Oracle? Check it out. What the hell is that? Oh. It's topped with a security camera, too. They'll probably open fire if you get too close. So it's the same setup we saw in Shibuya. The castle's beyond here. So we're gonna have to do something about this thing first. If I had to guess, I'd say there's a core somewhere around here that's powering it. I saw something that looked like a prison keep up top. If this is business as usual, it's probably there. Guess that's our first stop. Let's get going. Prison key? Well, I guess I'll know once I get there. Greetings, good citizens. Have you seen any evildoers nearby? If you do see any, please report it immediately. Our hero will then come to change their hearts. Akira is our one true hero. He is the only one who can save the world. Akira will keep everyone safe with the power to change hearts. He will protect our way of life. Akira? He must be referring to Kanoe. I guess he's a superhero in this world. So this is how he views himself. Ironic that the villain is the playing the hero. hero. Akira will not to the power to change hearts. What does it mean by that? And this voice, must not is that Emma? Any a phony hero parading himself Remember, around in a futuristic desires. city. Our game's a major dystopia oh, guide to this one. So does that mean we're the villains? <laughs> what a load of crap. And that's a good point. If we're going to oppose the hero, then Super Phantom Thieves works great. He wants to treat us like the bad guys? Fine, Your we're still gonna bring him down. Hands. We'll show him who the real villain is. Mm-hmm. Is that an exhibit too? This 
was all just some big show to him? Well, in reality, he likely saw them as a means to an end. They weren't much more than that. So this dickhead uses these people for all their work, and this is how he treats them? What an asshole! tower too. That's probably how they're controlling all the surveillance cams. If we can just steal the core, those things will be totally bricked. Then let's slip inside and steal it. Not so fast. There are cameras here too. What are we supposed to do about those? And thus, Skull was riddled with holes. Rest in peace, Skull. I ain't dead, and I ain't going out there either. Straight path isn't always the quickest, right? Let's see if there are any other ways in. allow us to check out those places that were blocked off earlier. Let's head back to the entrance. Yeah, let's. The way to the castle should be wide open now. What did the core end up being, by the way? Is this an action figure? Oh, no way! It's him. It's Zephyr Man! You mean, like, the keyword? So, what does that mean? Sorry, I'm lost here. Jailhouse power sources that act as a symbol of the monarch's power. We call them cores. This is one of them. This thing? You're telling me this little action figure is a core? Why would this be a symbol of power? Uh, maybe he just really likes Zephyr Man? Indeed. And to such an extent that he would call himself a hero. Even though he's clearly a bad guy. Whatever the reason, we have to focus on securing a route to the castle. Right. Let's get on back and see if we can't find the next prison key.
did that one. All right, leave it to me. Persona! This is our turn. Already. I never miss my That makes two cores now. Is this... Emma? Emma is the source of Kanoe's power. Seeing it as one of his cores doesn't surprise me one bit. I wonder if those infrared sensors are gone yet. Yep, they're gone. Now we can proceed even further. We should head back. Hey, do you think that'll get us back faster? for all those containers. Yeah, I know I won't mind if we hitch a ride. All right then, we're moving. From Chuoji, bound for Abeno Haretas, will be departing shortly. Those who seek an audience with Lord Akira, please make your way to the airship departure gate. Did you hear that? It said airship. An audience with Lord Akira? It sounds like boarding this airship will take us straight to the castle. Maybe. Still, Kanoe controls every inch of this place. I doubt we can just hop on. Looks right. Let's stay on guard as we make our way to the departure.
you a new power. Through here lies the airship departure gate. Those who have not surrendered their desires will not be allowed entry. Airport staff, please present your workers' pass. Can I see that? The departure gate is just up ahead. And we have to surrender our desires if we wish to enter. So you can't pass unless your heart's been changed, huh? Doesn't sound like we'll be getting in. We don't have a choice. We'll have to find another way. Hey, look! Do you think we could get in through that vent? Ooh, you might be onto something. Nice going, Noir. This is the departure gate. Entry denied. Insufficient access privileges. Please surrender your desires or present your VIP pass. Yes. How's that? So if we get one, even we'll be allowed inside? That's some of the nice things of it. But who would be carrying a VIP pass? I doubt we could tell just by looking. If only we knew of a place where such individuals might gather. Well, if they're important enough to be called VIPs, maybe they'd be in the first class lounge? That's it, Noir! I had a feeling you'd know something about the VIP life. Already got a reading! Let's check it out! Focus. What's that? Focus. Oh, yes, a treasure chest. VIP pass accepted. You are cleared to board. All right, it's open. Let's make our way to the castle. Wait a second. This is a prison key. What? This must be an air traffic control tower for the airships. to get this place under control if we want to save foot. Breathe. We can stop the other airships. It might reduce enemy reinforcements later on. All right, then. That's the plan. Let's make shit happen.
Interesting. A Medis Company badge. Its symmetrical design is rather appealing. We've cleared all of the prison keeps. Let's go ahead and board the airship. Stop! 
Looks like we finally cleared up the rabble. Talk about a waste of time. Yeah, you sound like one of the bad guys. Looks like one too. Definitely doesn't look like a cop. Oh, shut up. Let's see you say that after I put you all away. Just add this. Hmm. I'm not seeing any shadows nearby. Akira! What the hell's all this? You can do it, Akira! Bring those villains to justice! There's so many people. What's going on? Oh, are these all the shadows who've had their hearts changed? The great Akira's hero show will begin momentarily. Please gather in front of the stage and show your support. Hero show? By Kanoe? This sounds interesting. Let's go see. No. Take a closer look. The guards are on the lookout. If they spot us, we get swarmed, and then it's game over. We should probably fall back for now. Something like this happened in Sapporo, didn't it? You mean the He Horde? That was mirrored by the huge cleanup campaign in the real world, right? This may be the same thing. Huh. Does that mean Kanoe is doing some kind of show in the real world right now? Which begs the question. Will this crowd go away once he's finished? We need more information. Maybe we should go back to the real world and see for ourselves. All right, if you think it'll help, we'll head back. Let's see just what Kanoe is up to. Okay, it's time to pull out. Mr. Kanoe. The Emma app developed by your company, Medis, has become immensely popular all around the world. With Japan's creative industries starting to reach their limits, it's wonderful to hear about such a remarkable breakthrough in AI technology. I hear many have high expectations for you as a leading figure in this country, Mr. Kanoe. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say I'm all that. I do plan to do the best I can, though. The world is about to undergo a massive transformation, and I'm hoping to steer it in the right direction. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're too kind. Well, sounds like you've got their support. That reminds me. I've heard that Emma's servers are kept at the Tokyo Radio Tower. Way back when, the Tokyo Radio Tower was used to usher Japan into a new era of communication. Perhaps this time around, Emma will play a similar role and bring us into the age of AI. Yes, that's certainly the idea. As of now, AI is still a fledgling technology, but I've no doubt that it's going to make all of our lives that much easier. And as a testament to that, it's worth noting there were several areas that openly lamented the halt in Emma's service the other day. Why do you think the Phantom Thieves would target Emma, of all things? Naturally, Emma holds a vast amount of personal data. Perfect target for a gang of crooks, if you ask me. Or perhaps they're just opposed to my ideas of AI making the world a better place. All that talk about them being champions of the meek and downtrodden is likely no more real than those cheap masks they hide behind. They threaten anyone they disagree with and rob them of their free will if they don't comply. Evil people performing evil deeds. Nothing more. We won't be defeated by some ragtag group of petty criminals. 
I'm more than determined to battle their injustices to the very end. Mr. Kanoe, you held a press conference the other day and mentioned your distinct hatred for the evils of this world. Might that stem from personal experience? <sighs> yeah. Yes, I suppose you might say that. As a child, I was caught in a rather unfortunate incident in which I lost someone very close to me. I'd wager it was that incident that caused me to harbor such disdain for wrongdoing. However you look at it, I can't allow the Phantom Thieves to continue doing as they please. I couldn't agree more. I think we'd all like to see this Phantom Thieves case resolved as soon as possible. That explains the whole hero show thing. Bastard! Where's he get off with all that shit? Yeah, but he's got a crap load of people behind him. He's trending like he wouldn't believe on social media. Have all those people had their hearts changed too? No, it's not like it was with Matsume. These are just regular old fans. So everyone's being won over by Kanoe's charm without ever knowing what he's really like. His track record with Medea certainly is impressive. Oh, come on! The guy's full of shit! Without knowing who he is on the inside, he probably seems like he really cares about making the world a better place. This isn't much different from what happened with Shido. Well, people do tend to pick the safer choices in life. Is that true? In a life of nothing but decisions, there's always a fear of not knowing what comes next. Without knowing what lies in store, people often end up turning to the thing that gives them the best answer. So when it comes down to it, they're more inclined to latch on to whoever's going to make things easier. First it was Shido, and now it's Kanoe. Actually, this might be even worse, seeing as Emma is a lot more up close and personal with people. But is it really okay to live like that? Leaving everything up to something else? Well, the truth is, not everyone believes in themselves enough to do otherwise. Not like I'm one to talk. But that's why we're exposing the real villain here. So we can bring those people back to their senses. Right. We can't let them change everyone's hearts for their own schemes anymore. <laughs> We're gonna tear down that stupid jail of his, and then I'm putting my foot straight up his oh, oh, maybe we hold off until we get some grub, yeah? You've gotta be kidding me. That certainly cut the tension. <laughs> now that you mention it, I'm hungry too. We were running around in that jail for quite some time. Dinner time! What'll it be? We are in Osaka, so we'd be crazy not to do takoyaki, right? That sounds nice. I've been wanting to walk around and try a little of everything, honestly. Oh, do such flavors really exist around here? I suppose I should have expected as much from Japan's wondrous kitchen. Osaka is complete without them. I'm actually surprised. Each shop really does taste different. Looks like trying a bunch of different places was a good call. Oh, so this is the authentic Osaka flavor. And best of all, it's affordable. Aren't you gonna have some, Mona? Nah, it's too hot for me right now. I'll just have some once it cools off. I'm sorry you can't join in with us, Sophia. Well, I am an AI. I'll just have to make do with the data. Don't let it get you down, Sophia. We'll bring some to the jail later. Really? Thank you. Man, traveling around and chowing down like this is the freaking best! Would have been nice if Gramps could have tagged along. He was close enough to make it home, so I think he wanted to go see Akana-chan. She was probably waiting for him, too. I hope they get more time with one another once this case is settled. Yeah, and then Gramps can shower Akane in gifts and treat her like a princess and stuff. There's something I still don't understand. Why did Kanoe bother to create the jails in the first place? Wasn't it because that Owada dude told him to? I don't think that was the only reason. We heard in his jail that he wanted to save people, didn't we? Yeah. One look around his jail, and it's clear that he totally believes in what he's doing. He thinks he's the perfect embodiment of justice. It's true. He does see himself as a hero. Are you suggesting he isn't acting for his own gain? 
At the very least, he must have his own reasons for taking part in all of this. We'll know for sure once we meet the Monarch face to face. For now, let's just focus on the problem at hand. Yeah, you're right. We'll eat up and get our strength back for today. Well, I'm taking the rest then. As if. Like, you really need all that. Hey, it's first come, first served at this point. You guys better hurry before I swipe it all. I, Haru Okumura, accept your challenge. W wait I want some too. show or whatever's wrapped up. I wonder what it was like. Kind of curious, honestly. Oh, you want to go see one sometime? We can go to a Featherman show. Once we get in the castle, we're headed straight for the roof. Are you ready? is clear. Let's make a break for the top. I'm kind of surprised how easy it was to get inside. A little quiet for a castle. That's not normal, is it? I don't think so. I've got a bad feeling about this. This is usually when everything goes wrong. What's this light? It's so pretty. But what is it doing? Uh, whatever it's doing, it can't be good. Intruders detected. Executing forced removal. Wait, is this thing a teleporter? It's a friggin' trap! We gotta bail! Wait, Skull! If you try to leave the circle... You'll get ripped apart? You gotta be shitting me! What? What happened? It seems we've been forcibly teleported somewhere. Ugh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm warp sick. What, so we're locked up? Ah, man, I feel like getting caught's all we ever do anymore. We have to get out of here, and quickly. Hey, just try to stay calm. In times like these, the best thing to do is to carefully check your surroundings. 
The door's open on the other side. I wonder if there's a way for us to get over there. <laughs> a treasure chest! <laughs> not going down without a fight. This must be the security room. It looks like we can unlock... So if we release the lock, we'll be able to keep going. Of course. Just give me the word. All right. Packing in. Make sure you back me up. Shadows detected here. We 
should be able to ride all the way up to the top like this. Maybe we can even rest before we get there. Ah, guess that would have been a little too easy. Come on, let's greet our guests. Getting lots of shadow readings here. You guys are just gonna have to hold out. <laughs> I never miss my ball. elevated opinion of himself, I'd say this is par for the course. Yes, we're going up then. We've got to get those desires back. No shadows. At least, not right up ahead. place has one too every jail we've seen so far has but why would Kanoe's jail possess one is he not the mastermind behind all this I don't know Kanoe is supposed to be the one who created the jails so he would have to know how they work it wouldn't make sense otherwise in which case the only explanation is that he's trapped himself here with trauma of his own why would he do something like that it could be necessary to creating a jail. 
Does that mean Kanoe's got some dark past too? A guy that confident? I don't know. Doesn't really fit his image if you ask me. So what's the plan then? You said we need a key if we want to open this thing, right? That's correct. And we can get a hint as to its whereabouts by touching the birdcage. All right, sure. So I just touch this thing, right? Good luck. Make sure you don't let go right away. Don't go crying on us, Gramps. Huh? Listen to that wolf howl. I've heard stories of cries that could shake the heavens. Could this be one of them? It's almost operatic. You guys don't even know, man. That shit seriously hurts. Quiet. I hear something. <laughs> Abuse? Please, that's ridiculous. We do have a dog. Maybe that's what they heard? Right, Akira? Whose voice is that? It doesn't seem to be Kanoe's. But he said Akira. Isn't that Kanoe's first name? Whether it was your dog or not, Kanoe-san, we got a tip that you've been physically abusing your son. Apparently, Akira-kun has a scar on his arm to prove it. Look, he fell over. How many times do I have to say it? Are we done here? I'd like to be left alone. all this trouble you're causing me. Keep your goddamn mouth shut and do as I say. <sighs> Damn. What the hell was that? Kanoe's past. We were viewing the trauma he keeps locked away in his heart. Trauma? There, there. Good boy. Who's a good boy? What am I, a pet? You guys could have warned me about that. Well, it's not like you asked. <laughs> I feel like I've heard that excuse before. Yeah, from yourself. Getting back on track, I heard one of the voices mention something about abuse. Was Kanoe abused by his father? That's terrible. It's pretty messed up, but it doesn't justify all the skeevy shit he's been doing. Indeed. What's past is past. Nothing changes the fact that Akira Kanoe is an incredibly dangerous man who changes others' hearts and robs them of their free will. Right. We've got to stop him. So if being abused is the source of his trauma, then what exactly is his plan here? I'm just gonna have to ask him about it. Up close and personal. Yeah, but first, we need the key to the birdcage. Let's head back to the real world and try to find the source of that voice. Hey. Joker? Was Kanoe really treated badly by his own father? Senkichi and Akane were on bad terms. But nothing like that ever happened between them. Why did that happen to Kanoe? Aren't they family? So some humans are just like that then. Joker? Do you think family is important? So it comes to you so naturally that you don't even have to think about it? If I ever get family or friends, I want to support them as much as I can. I learned that from the Phantom Thieves. I wonder how Kanoe must have felt back then. Hey, come on you two, let's get going! Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's go, Joker. This is the place. So, this is Akira Konoe's family home? Do you suppose Konoe's father still lives here? Mm, no. He died 20 years ago. What? I found some police records of an incident that happened here back then. 
A burglar forced his way into the home and stabbed Kanoe's father to death. How tragic. Most items of value were gone, so it was ruled as both a robbery and a homicide. I never found the culprit. And, and what did Kanoe do? He lived here too, right? He was eight years old at the time and was the only survivor. Apparently he managed to hide in a closet. If this is the birthplace of Kanoe's trauma, we'll probably uncover the truth about his father's murder as well. Yes, let's do what we came here to do. I'm inputting the keyword now. Everyone, get ready to enter. This room. Are we inside the house now? Looks like it. Twenty years into the past. Whoa! Who's that? Is that... Kanoe's father? You little shit! Who do you think feeds you every day, huh? I swear you're just a bill. All you do is eat up my hard-earned money! <laughs> Don't talk back to me! Somebody... Please... <sighs> no! I can't watch this anymore! Keeping you around's a real pain in the ass. Maybe I should just... kill you two. Two? She just handed over the money when I told her to. Nobody ever takes me seriously. No. Not Mom. You didn't. Here he comes. Enemy of evil. Champion of those in need. Listen up, viewers. It's time to band together and call for Zephyrman, protector of justice. Get it now. There are no heroes. No one's coming to save me. It's up to me. I have to become stronger. I have to. I'll kill them. And then I'll be the hero. What the fuck are you mumbling about, you freak? Not like it matters. You'll be joining your mother soon enough. So awful. Let's go! Take this! Come! You're mine! 
Queen Ma! Kikuri Hime! Ganesha! Let's go! Drive it, sir! this Fire! 
Tender, just fire! <laughs> one of those save you! So this is why Noe was trying to become a hero. Because no one was there to save him? That's terrible! Fire! already. I never miss my
Is everyone all right? Better than all right. Feels great knowing we put that asswipe in his place. Akira Kanoe. <laughs> if what we just saw actually happened in the past... Then Akira Kanoe escaped an abusive childhood and avenged his mother by killing his own father. He must have framed the entire thing as a robbery in order to avoid suspicion. You're saying he's a victim of some high and mighty shitbag too? He must have felt so trapped. There was nobody he could turn to. So he set out to become his own hero, and the power to change hearts helped him do just that. It's just too sad. There had to be another way. There just had to. Hey, cool it. Whatever his past was, it doesn't justify what he's doing now. Nothing makes it okay for him to take control of people against their will. If we don't stop him now, more and more people are gonna get hurt. You're all thinking the same thing, aren't you? My thoughts exactly. Right. If we don't stop him here, then nothing's ever going to change. Let's do everything we can for now. While it's true we need to change Kanoe's heart, let's not forget we also need to save those whose desires he's stolen. And it's time we bust out the calling card. Oh yeah, that's kind of your thing, isn't it? Yeah, we'll change his heart and take back everyone's desires. Okay, let's head back to the car and come up with a plan. So, about the calling card. How exactly do we want to do this? Hmm, we need a place where we know Kanoe will see it. What about sending it to his company? The police will probably be crawling all over the place. It's too dangerous. After all that stuff he said about us on TV, I'd really like to stick it to him good. Give him something he'll remember. We could always try pulling a repeat of Shibuya. Huh? Where'd Gramps go? He said he had something to take care of. He's probably with Akane. Let's just leave them be for now. Alright, well, maybe we save the calling card planning for tomorrow then. How come? I mean, you know, because Zenkichi's part of the team now, isn't he? I feel like he'd be missing out if he wasn't here for his first calling card. Plus, he's kinda got a lot invested in this after everything that happened to Akane. That's true. All signs point to Kanoe being the one who turned her into a monarch. Zenkichi's definitely got a bone to pick with him. All right, we'll wait to bring Zenkichi in on the plan. All right, we'll figure out the calling card tomorrow. It's been one intense fight after another, so let's get some rest and get back to it bright and early. Hey, is it just me, or has Yusuke not said a word since we got back? <sighs> wow, out cold and still standing. Dude's got all sorts of weird talents. <sighs> Commissioner Kaburagi? You look better than I thought you would. How'd it feel being on the other side of an interrogation for once? <laughs> I managed to pull through. Guess I'm getting a little old for this, huh? More importantly, though, I heard something interesting from the Nijima lawyer. She told me the reason she was able to get me out was because she had help from a certain someone. I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Anyhow, do you have business with me? Commissioner, I'd like you to help me. I'm going to arrest Awada. He's been behind the scenes with each and every change of heart case. Akira Konoe is the one who commits the crimes while Owada sits back and capitalizes on them. They plan to cover up the truth by putting all the blame on the Phantom Thieves. I think they've even changed the hearts of some of us on the Force. And I'm talking pretty high up the chain of command. Hmm. If we don't act now, we'll never be able to stop them. Please, Commissioner. I can't do this without you. Do you have any evidence to bring Owada in? I'm on the verge of getting Konoe to confess. If we do that, we can expose all of Awada's crimes. You really think Kanoe will talk? 
He'll crack. I know he will. How can you be so sure? Are you planning to use the Phantom Thieves to change his heart? Sorry, but... I just can't tell you. Commissioner Kaburagi, do you remember what you said to me back when Aoi died? You told me you would cleanse this whole rotten organization someday. And that I just had to wait for the right time. That time is now. Please. I need your help. <laughs> You've changed, Hasegawa. Your little stunt cost me my chance at Senior Commissioner. Even my current title is in a state of uncertainty. I need to do something to restore my credibility. If I wanted to, I could serve all of you up to Awada on a silver platter, and he'd owe me everything for it. Did that ever occur to you? <laughs> Your sense of justice would never allow it. <laughs> my, my. You have three days. If you say you can do it, then by all means, make it happen. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. And I'll give back your badge as well. Uh, are you sure? Fair warning. If you screw this up, I'll be covering my own safety above all else. No second chances. Do you hear me? I won't forget this, Commissioner. Shall I follow him, ma'am? Forget it. He'll just throw you off. Actually, I have a more pressing task for you. I want you to find out everything you can about the Commissioner General. The... Commissioner General, ma'am? I'm not one to pull punches. Never have been, never will be. So, you're sure the Phantom Thieves have been dealt with, yes? Yes. They're being held in the jail as we speak. I've got Emma keeping an eye on them. Well done, Mr. Kanoe. There really is nothing that can stand up to you in that AI of yours. Please, none of this would have been possible without your assistance, sir. Emma will show us the way forward. Now, I may be getting a little ahead of myself, but what say we have a celebration of sorts? I'll go ahead and reserve us someplace nice. I think you're in for a real treat. Looking forward to it. Till then. Call ended. Filth! Flapping those fat jowls of his. Roaches like him are the very reason why this world needs someone to enact justice. You are absolutely right, Akira. We'll have to hurry with making Operation Oraculi a reality. More importantly, how are things in the Kyoto Jail? No issues to report. The Phantom Thieves are still under confinement. Very well. And, uh, just so we're clear, there's no way to change their hearts. Is that correct? That is correct, Akira. It is impossible. Well, if you say so, it must be. We'll just have to let them rot, won't we? Now, to wrap this up. At this point, nothing can stand in my way. I'll take over this entire country. No, the whole world. So, I heard you guys were waiting for me to get back. You guys are surprisingly particular, you know? It's the first calling card we're sending out since you joined. Figured you'd want to be there for it. Well, it's not like I haven't helped out with one already. It doesn't seem like that big a deal. That's why we have a little proposal for you. Why don't you write this one, Sinkichi-san? Uh, me? But I've never written one before. Yes. Remember what Kanoe did to Akane. You simply need to express your rage. Uh, well, it's true. He does have to answer for that. All right. That takes care of the calling card. Just gotta figure out how to send it. Hey, I didn't agree to anything. He's so comfortable bad-mouthing us on TV. Maybe it's time we gave him a taste of his own medicine. Copy the enemy's strats? <sighs> How about an online broadcast? <sighs> we need more impact. Could we just hand-deliver it, maybe? If we want to get arrested, yeah. What do you think? I'm 
not sensing a clear winner here. Hey guys, check it out. Is that a blimp? Oh, you don't see them very often nowadays. That's the Reagan Rogan. It's the only airship in Japan that's currently in service. It seems it's being used to advertise Emma for Medis at the moment. For Medis? Apparently, it circles Osaka's airspace every day. Hmm, every day? You thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Way ahead of you. All right. I'll just add this. Yes. Some kind of card? Wait, that's... Phantom Thieves? Is that actually real? Testing! One, two, one, two! Okay, looks like we're live! So, I just talk into this? You're on, man! Just say it! Uh, okay. <clears throat> Are you listening, Kanoe? Toying with innocent lives, slandering us. You've been busy, but so have we. Now it's payback time. Ready or not, here we come! To the villain who thinks he's a hero, Akira Kanoe. You stole the desires of countless people. And tonight, we're baking them, uh, I mean, taking them... Oh, you had one line! I meant to say that, baking them, you know, like in an oven. Seriously? It's a practice. The Phantom Thieves. Impossible! To the criminal tyrant masquerading as a hero, Sir Akira Kanoe. All subsequent references will henceforth be shortened to Party A. Party A has wronged multiple innocents by flaunting a false sense of justice and shifting the blame for the murder of one of his employees. On top of that, Party A is also guilty of wrongfully imprisoning a group of minors. Therefore, in addition to putting out a formal warrant of arrest for Party A's crimes, tonight the Phantom Thieves will commit some larceny of their own and take back every desire you've stolen? Is this some kind of joke? Emma, what the hell is going on? I, I thought we trapped them in the jail. Unable to answer. Please ask a different question. Just don't give me that, Emma. I'm your master. Now answer me, damn it. Unable to answer. Please ask a different question. Unable to answer. God damn it! You think you can change my heart? You wretched little urchins. I won't be defeated so easily. Taking back the desires? You think you can steal from me? Fools! I am the very hero these people have been praying for. The Phantom Thieves are the evil that stands in the way of that. Come then, let's see who changes who. Dispensing the calling cards from the enemy's own airship. What a truly impeccable strategy. How much you want to bet the police are already all over that thing? Aw, won't it be sad when they find out we were broadcasting from a remote location? Nice job, Monenz and Kichi. Sheesh. That was some contraption you put together. You did good too, Sophia. All I did was search the web for a blueprint we could use. Was it okay for us to leave it on the airship, though? at using a bunch of junk parts you can find just about anywhere. We're in the clear. Word has certainly reached Kanoe by now. Yeah, but that calling card. Couldn't 
have added a little more spice there, Gramps? To the criminal tyrant masquerading as a hero, Sir Akira Konoe. All subsequent references will henceforth be shortened to Party A. Party A has wronged multiple innocents by flaunting a false sense of justice and... Party A? It's an arrest warrant. Is there a problem? It's supposed to be a calling card. What the hell is this Party A crap? Oh, shut up. Real big talk come from the guy who screwed up his line. What? Look, I told you, I didn't screw up. We're faking them. <laughs> you said it. Next time, we'll teach you how to write with style. Uh, I'll pass. Besides, if things go well, hopefully this will be my first and my last. The last calling card. Oh, kind of sad when you think about it. Hey, this fight's just getting started. All right, here we go. Time for the big finish. heart and put an end to this. Yeah, let's give it everything we've got. Let's stay focused. Keep you waiting, you goateed prick! We're here to straighten out that crooked heart of yours! So you've come. A warm welcome to the terrorists who toy with others' hearts in the name of their self-righteous justice. The infamous Phantom Thieves. As if you've any right to talk. You who repeatedly takes control of whomever you please. And you even tried to pass us off as a bunch of killers! You're the real bad guy here! Huh. It would appear you haven't realized just how similar we are. What? We're one and the same. We both detest this rotten society and struggle day after day to combat it. With our power to change hearts, we strive to incite change among the masses. Don't kid yourself. There's no way you're the same as us. We all know about your past. It must have been terrible for you, but still, what you're doing now makes you no better than a common criminal. I change hearts in order to exterminate the evils of this world. Are we not essentially the same? I'm simply introducing a system to keep things in order. And by creating monarchs, I'm ensuring everything plays out according to plan. What are you talking about? When the cognitive world revealed itself to me, I took it as an act of divine revelation. It was my birthright to change this godforsaken planet. With the cognitive world in my grasp, I could wipe all evil from the face of the earth. I would not waste such an incredible gift. But in order to see that dream realized, I needed a world that could be controlled. Controlled? What do you mean? I needed a world that would allow me to erase even the slightest traces of evil from people's subconscious minds. To that end, I required something that could reach everyone and bring them to submission. Yes, it seems AI was the solution to that problem. Thus, the next step was to acquire Emma and have it learn more about cognitive science at the research lab in Okinawa. The end results were the jails created by Emma unique cognitive worlds in which no heart, no matter how cold, could resist the change. You're saying Emma made the jails? 
So that's why the jails were left standing even after we defeated the monarchs. The jails aren't perfect, mind you. A jail's area of effect only covers roughly one city. Peculiar has such a phenomenal power, has such a limited range. In order to change the hearts of all humanity, I needed nothing short of an army of monarchs. So I began gathering pawns. Powerless, lamenting puppets who felt as hopeless on this earth as I was. And do you know what happens when you grant people like that the power to change hearts? They welcome their newfound power with open arms. And by using Emma to guide them, keeping them under control is a menial task. With the monarchs I personally selected, I could change the hearts of the festering rabble who calls this rotten place home. With the monarchs at my command, I could change the heart of anyone who dares step out of line. That was the endgame. Operation Oraculi. But you phantom thieves had to show up and ruin everything. So when we started taking down your jails, you got scared that your plan would fail. That's why you used the police and turned Akane into a monarch. It was all an attempt to stop us. It's not too late. I can still erase these obstacles and start over. <laughs> You're still so naive. But eventually, even you will come to Fight all you want. The most you can do is change the hearts of a scant few. Don't you see that my way is far more efficient? So everything will be fine as long as you're the one making all the decisions? Who do you think you are? Some kind of god? You're just forcing your ideas on everyone else! What foolish logic. So when you change people's hearts, it's right. But when someone else does it, it's wrong. I've built an entire infrastructure for changing hearts. What was impossible for you, I have made a reality. As a hero, I will reign over the whole world with infallible justice. You used Akane for this ridiculous plan of yours? She was just an innocent girl. Everyone you've made a monarch had some form of trauma. But you treated them like tools, even toyed with their lives. You don't know the first thing about justice! Then do you believe you could have saved me? Huh? Let's say you had been around back then. Could you have saved me from my father? I had nowhere to run. I was just a scared, helpless child left to suffer by himself. Well, could you really have saved me? Even now, there are surely others being brought up in the same hell that I was. And yet you've done nothing to help them. Well, that's... You only destroy the evils you just happen to come across. But you'll never save everyone. Me, however. I have the power to change the entire world. No one will ever have to suffer as I did ever again. And to do that, you need something beyond what the Phantom Thieves can offer. You need more than some childish heroic fantasy. But that's not justice. All you're doing is brainwashing everyone. You're taking away their freedom, who they are. And what's the difference? Both of us change the hearts of others against their will. So how am I any different from you? <sighs> Don't you understand? What? For you, changing someone's heart means imprisoning them. But for the Phantom Thieves, it means setting them free. You may steal desires like them, but the Phantom Thieves give people hope. Maybe you don't realize it, but I think, deep down, you know you're nothing like them. <sighs> It seems there's little point in discussing this further. If we can't reach an understanding, then only one side can remain. It's time to decide which of us truly walks the path of justice. <laughs> there aren't any real heroes left. So... Why not make our own? The world needs someone willing to fight for its people's justice. A hero to lead them, to unify them. 
A hero like me! <laughs> Yeah. 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 
Jack. I'll take it from you. Badass, Joker. Try this. Give up already. I never miss my ah. Down one last time. Come on, Phantom Thieves. Let's end this. A hero must stand his ground. He must not let evil overcome him. He may be our enemy. But you've got to admire his determination. That or not, really taking it up a notch. Watch your back, guys. What is all this? The drop from the robot? Yeah. There. Yes. This one. There. Okay. There. This one. Okay. This one. Okay. This one. This one. Thank you, Ken. Take this! Take all the money! Holy shit, back off, dude! Take it out of the wall or something! That may be possible. What if we lure Kanoe into the wreckage of his mech? Take this! Terrifying sword Take this! 
Thank you. Oh! 
I'll show you what a true hero is made of! Damn, it's quick. I'm not in my 40s either. Yeah. This is bad. Appreciate it. know what justice really is and we don't mean to say that what we're doing is always right either but we're definitely not just gonna sit back while you tell everyone what to do it's true there are days when I wish to immerse myself in my work days when I'd rather be wandering around town there are also days when I wish simply to spend time with those close to me to throw all of that away and do only what the person in front of you says why at that point you're nothing but a slave to fate all you're doing is taking away people's rights to choose for themselves and denying them their freedom. When it comes down to it, it's no different from what your father did to you. Trampling upon the one thing that makes us human. That's the very evil you claim to hate. Are you saying I'm the evil one? We choose the roads we take. We don't let anyone tie us down. And we do so because we want to walk our own paths our own way. But... If I fall here, then what will become of the world? There are no heroes. I'm the only one who can save it. Are you sure? I've seen the monarchs, and the people whose hearts you've changed. They didn't look happy at all. I don't think you saved anyone doing what you did. <sighs> you know, Kanoe, the world is full of evil. And there's plenty of scum out there who seem well beyond redemption. But there are some, like the Phantom Thieves, who refuse to give up. 
And there are people out there who, thanks to these guys, finally got the courage to crawl their way out of the darkest depths of hell. People who managed to awaken the hero inside themselves. Isn't that how we'll make this world a better place? <sighs> What you're trying to do will just erase those heroes. Some before they even get their chance. Can anybody really know peace if they're forced to be stuck that way all the time? I'd be erasing the heroes. Kanoe, it's not the people who need saving. If anyone needs it, it's you. Huh? Ever since you killed your father all those years ago, all you've ever done is run away, rotten as he was. Having to live with the pain of killing your own flesh and blood, knowing that you could be caught at any moment, you were alone. And getting stronger was the only way you could protect yourself. I... You're right. I... I killed my father. And I lied to escape the punishment. I called it justice, hoping that there'd never come a day when... I had to face the truth. But what I did back then was just... evil. Then you know what you need to do, Kanoe. The hero you keep inside needs to save you from that evil. The hero I keep inside... I have to save myself. <laughs> I see now. It's been right there with me, all along. Very well. I admit defeat. I'll confess my crimes, and accept my punishment. Whatever it may be. I'll destroy Emma as well. You have my word. Phantom Thieves. If it's possible, I only ask that you please prove to the world that I was defeated by the real heroes of this story. Ones with a true sense of justice. Thank you. just have to wait and see. We certainly learned a lot. Emma? Noe's big plan? Noe said he taught cognitive science to Emma in order to create jails. Shutting down Emma should mean the jails will finally disappear. So our names are probably in the clear too, right? Well, that depends on Kanoe's confession, but I'm thinking it'll probably work out that way. <laughs> hmm? What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. It's just those things you said back there. It was nice to hear you talk about us that way. Agreed, though, in all honesty. I can't say I thought all of what Kanoe said was wrong. However, your words reminded me of precisely why we do this, Senkichi. That's one of the big reasons why we started the Phantom Thieves in the first place. To give courage to people. Yeah, that speech was top, Senkichi. Gotta give you props for that one. <laughs> Any more of this, I'd say you were proud of me. Anyway, we've done what we set out to do. So, in the meantime... Since we're still here in Osaka, maybe we should get something to eat? Hell yeah! Osaka Feast Round 2 coming at ya! Then let's get our butts in gear! I'm talking deep fried skewers, pork buns, okonomiyaki! Oh man, what else? We've done nothing but eat since we got to Osaka. Eh, you're young. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Today's on me. Get whatever you want. Woohoo! Gramps got a heart of gold! Leave the search to me. I'll find us whatever you guys want. And our tour guide's coming in clutch. Sheesh, don't get too carried away, guys. We've got big changes on the horizon, you know? Osaka has a lot of top-tier sushi vendors, too. Sushi? What are we waiting for? Not so fast. Let us not forget the blowfish and crab hot pots. Hot pot again? 
Yeah, whatever. Still down. Uh, hey, take it easy, you guys. I am Akira Kanoi, founder and CEO of Medis. On behalf of the company, I have an announcement of grave importance. Recently, I stated my company had been targeted by the Phantom Thieves in an attempt to discredit our company. I now admit that this was a total fabrication, with no truth to it whatsoever. I, Akira Kanoi, am the true culprit. I devised a plan to accuse the Phantom Thieves of a terrorist plot so I could conceal my own heinous crimes. Specifically, so I could abuse Emma and gain control of people's hearts. I publicly admit the virtual assistant app, Emma, contains a function that allows me to manipulate other people. Using specific language, I could change their hearts and make them do as I wished. Yes, this process is essentially brainwashing, and I have scores of evidence proving it works. The change of heart epidemic that has plagued this nation is entirely my own doing. By controlling people's hearts, I was able to make them do my bidding across the entire country, including horrific crimes. This includes the death of Shuzo Ubukata, the head researcher of our Okinawa research facility. Instead of taking responsibility for my actions, I shifted the blame onto the Phantom Thieves. I must also confess, these are not my only crimes. Over 20 years ago, I claimed that my father was killed during a home invasion, when the one who really killed him was me. I took my father's life and uh, attempted to frame others for my crime, so I could avoid any repercussions. These are the crimes I confess to you all. As of today, I will be stepping down as CEO of Medis and turning myself in to the police. Emma will be shut down. The AI will be wiped from the surface. All these terrible things were done for nothing but my own selfish desires. So now I must do the right thing and bring myself to justice. Controlling people's hearts? Is that real? Wait, Emma? Like, the app Emma? Oh shit, better delete that. Hanoi san I thought you were a hero to this country! I knew it. I knew the Phantom Thieves were really the good guys. <laughs> nice try there. Oh yeah! Yes! <laughs> it really worked! Come back when for the Phantom Thieves. We've brought down the Mastermind. Looks like the case is finally closed. Once we confirm Emma's no longer running, our work will be done. Yep. Once that's done, everything's up to the police and the courts. In fact, I'll head over and pick him up now. Good luck. I hope it goes well for you. Yep. Well, off I go. Now, what should the rest of us do? We'll probably hear all about it tomorrow. At that point, I suppose we should get back to Tokyo. So we're finally nearing the end of our journey. What say we wrap it up with a round of sightseeing? It looks like Osaka has plenty to check out. Ooh, sounds good here! So, once the jails disappear, the trip will be over. Go home. Yes, that 
that's right. Hey, do you remember the deal we made? I joined the Phantom Thieves, and in return, I learned about the heart. I've experienced so much on this journey, and learned all sorts of feelings, but I still don't truly understand the heart. All this time, I've had the same query. What is the difference between you all and Kanoe? He was trying to help people, wasn't he? And the Phantom Thieves do the same thing. However, everyone instead argues that Kanoe was wrong. What exactly was wrong? That is true. Kanoe didn't have any true companions. Like all of you, but there's something else. The Phantom Thieves live their lives following their beliefs. But Kanoe and his monarchs, they couldn't do that. The Phantom Thieves must have strong hearts to live as they do. When our journey ends, I won't be able to help you anymore. And our deal will be finished. If the jails disappear, I won't be able to learn about myself anymore. What should I do? If I had a strong heart like the Phantom Thieves, maybe then I could choose my own path. Now hang on there, Sophia. I think you got the wrong idea. Just because we're going back to Tokyo, that doesn't mean your deal's up, right? Really? You think I'm kidding? The jails may go away, but we've still learned a whole lot on this trip. And there's gotta be some evidence about your past here in the real world. So how's about we all go looking for it together? Oh, you too. Come on now, don't get me going too. All friends here. Feel free to hang out in this guy's phone as long as you like. In fact, we'd welcome the company. Thank you. Yo, what's the hold up, guys? <laughs> Whoops. Looks like we're being slow pokes. Let's get going. Mr. Kanoe, what is going on? Everything you said, was that true? Please, settle down. I'm sure Mr. Kanoe had his reasons for... <sighs> it's fine. I admit, I've made so much trouble for you. Uh, I'm entirely to blame. I'm on my way to turn myself into the police now. I apologize for leaving the company in such a state. Mr. Kanoe. Allow us to spare you the drive. Excuse me, who are... We're the police. Akira Kanoe, you are under arrest. I'll spare you the list of charges. How great it is to return a favor, Akira Kanoe. And you are? The last monarch you installed was my only daughter. Uh... You toyed with and ruined countless lives, and now it'll be for nothing. You even used an innocent, grieving child for your own benefit. You're taking responsibility for what you've done. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was so desperate. I, I disregarded something so important. Free will. I was on the verge of stamping out what makes us truly human. I haven't turned out any different from my own father. On your feet. We'll hear it all at the station. All about the connection between Awada and the top brass on our force. There's nothing you can do to earn my forgiveness. But your confession can save the lives of a whole bunch of people. It's what you wanted, right? Now's your time to be the hero. Huh? It's all up to you. <laughs> Perhaps... No.
that case. You're right.
toast to this totally closed case. Cheers! <sighs> Soda really hits the spot after a job done right. Okay, Gramps. I'm curious, why Universal Land anyway? You've gotta hit up Universal Land when you go to Osaka. Plus, I thought it'd make a fitting atmosphere for our celebration. Ha, <laughs> nice one, Lady Anne. You really know how to pick them. Dude, you should try to get a job here. You'd make it huge in your Phantom Thief form. Hey, don't treat me like some kind of mascot. This place really brings back memories of celebrating last year. We shared a lot of our lives together. Not just as the Phantom Thieves. Although this experience was quite different from our time opposing the palace rulers, Alice Hiragi, Ango Natsume, Mariko Hyodo, Akira Kanoe, there's no mistake they needed stopping. They each had very complex circumstances. This isn't to negate the crimes they committed, but... It's impossible to simply write them off as evil. You're right. They had all suffered so much. Everyone loses their way or faces hardship at some point. And it always has the potential to make a permanent impact on someone. But the biggest testament to a person's character is what they do after their hardship. As for the Monarchs, they were all taken advantage of while they were lost. They changed the hearts of those around them to fit their ideals, and refused to accept their true selves. Still, such a fate could easily befall any one of us. If someone came to me, claiming to hold the means to solve all my problems when I was at my most hurt and desperate, I can't say I wouldn't have wound up in the same conundrum. Yeah, I think we'll make it just fine. There you go, trying to sound cool again. If any of us were in trouble, none of the rest would leave him behind like that. I'd be totally screwed without you guys, but when I'm with you, I feel like I can take on the world. Uh, Ryuji? <laughs> That's true. We should especially keep a close eye on Ryuji. Ooh, the fist of justice may rise again yet. Why's that gotta be the first thing you jump to? He has a point. So long as we have each other, we will never stray from our path, no matter how painful. The Phantom Thieves are going to be fine. I guarantee it. Why are you saying that like you're not one of us, huh? You're a Phantom Thief too. Right. Sophia, Zenkichi, and all of us make up the Phantom Thieves. <sighs> Thank you, everyone. All right! Let's keep the good times rolling and live it up one last night in Osaka! Yeah! <laughs> Killing me. I'm still feeling all that soda from last night, too. <sighs> I'm quite nauseous as well. Symptoms processed. You have what you call hangovers. Is that right? Uh, soda doesn't give people hangovers. It's more like that one stuffed his face too much, and that one whacked his head on the ceiling when he got too rowdy. Oh, I understand. Seriously, don't misinform Sophia with such stupidity. <laughs> Sounds like you damn kids are just as rambunctious as ever. Zenkichi! We saw the news. Nice work bringing in Kanoe. Thank you for all your efforts. <laughs> yep. But there's still one last perp I've got to bring in. That's right. Owada. I'm flying back to Tokyo pretty soon. Sounds like we'll be going our separate ways for now. <laughs> that doesn't sound half bad. Well, I do still have some time left. I suppose I should send my partners off right. Speaking of which... A sec. Hmm. Well, in that case, you never see it coming.